Happy Halloween, you guys. I'm about to murder all this beer. That's not great. Yes, it is. Okay, high five. I can't see you. I can't see you. Close, close. High five, yeah. high five. Episode 21. We're legal drinking age, guys. It could be 31, because um, you know, it's Halloween. What? What? I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. What? I'm going to do this a little bit longer. I can't hear you. All right, go ahead. I can't hear your face. My, my you look awesome. Yeah. You look like a bike, like an airplane guy, like from the old like, 40s. Like your, your guy oh, God. Like. China, I love you, but your Amazon Spider-Man costume? Put some air holes in it, man. All right, let's get into these. We got three yeah. beers today. It's Halloween, guys. You get your candies. You get your, um, what are they call The candy. You get candy corns. You get your black licorice. You get all your stupid and dumb. Time out. Why would you lead off with the two worst candies known to man? Because I'm saying, oh, there's your candy corns, your black, what? Candy corn. Hey, you know what candy corn is good for? Throw it in the trash. You even like candy corn? Like, me, you like black licorice too? You want a bottle of San Let me guess, you're you're you like, disgusting. do you love peeps at Easter too? Do you like yellow Starburst? Yeah. You're a loser. We're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to rethink our lives. All right, let's get into this. We got three beers. No, time out. I'm not taking advice from our glorious producer anymore. I've been listening to this guy all this time. <laughs> he <laughs> likes candy corn, black licorice, and yellow starburst. Remember that time? I'm gonna go way back. Remember Fancy Feast? Uh -huh. When he said these are really high quality food dishes that you're gonna enjoy and have a good time having? It's from Candy Corn Man. <laughs> this is his version of gourmet. Gourmet. Done. It's good for you this week. Done. Thanks for making me stress. I'm trying to like get your help. Oh no. Alright, plan it. Let's get into this. Three we got three beers tonight. We gotta go rapid yeah. fire. So the first one is He's Not Lazy from Molly's Brewery. This is a delicious New England style uh IPA, it's absolutely incredible on a scale of one to ten. It's a twenty-six. Excuse me. Uh, it's available in the tap room and retailers coming soon near you. Bunch uh, of flaked wheat, bunch of flaked oats. Yeah, it's amazing. Decent amount of whirlpool hops. Uh, amazing. Shit load of hops in the the uh, during primary fermentation. Yeah, it's amazing. Then post fermentation. Amazing. Then right before cold crashing. Amazing. Then we let it sit so we didn't get a hot burn. Amazing. We put it out when it was ready to be fresh. You know what else is amazing? You. The guy who made it. Cultural icon, Jason Moore. Cultural, Cultural icon, Jason Moore. Did you just cough that Did you? Up? Yeah. Cultural. Do you have like, a thing? Are you going to put that up right now? Can we now? put it up right now? Right here. Cultural icon. Sure. You know, uh, so you know those demotivational posters? Yes. Or the, you know, the, yes. the motivational poster? Yes. The demotiv demotivation. Love. Yeah. If we don't put that as a demotivational poster. Hey, is there a way we can get a, like a link in the comments? I kind of was thinking about like growing this out real big and then doing the handlebar mustache. Okay. What do you want to link for? Want to have somebody? I, like a vote, like uh, like a a, a Serpico? God bless fucking Cervic. James. Jay. <laughs> you call a it a survey? Cervix? Uh, a cervix. Yeah, well, that's a different guy. <laughs> Nobody wants to put a cervix in the comments. <laughs> he said survey. Oh, survey. Oh, no. Survey. Like, what do you guys think? Should, should we do a handlebar mustache? Sure. Yeah, do you want to do mutton chops with it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm probably Actually, actually yeah. I want to see you do like one of the, like, the evil villain ones. Oh, God. Like one of those ones that goes down along the side of my mouth and then goes up the edge of my jaw. Oh, God. And then becomes my sideburns and then becomes my hair. A Mobius. Hey, what if I get lightning bolts inside of my head? Sure. A Mobius mustache. Mobius mustache, that's the one. Yeah, um... That's a little ridiculous. You should know that kind of mustache is a very costly facial accessory. So is your balls hanging out of your pants right now, but no big deal. True respite, Nightingale. Um, hazy Ipa, Centennial Azaka. Hazy, hazy Ipa. Centennial Azaka, Idaho 7. Citra. Didn't he have like a medical vibe? No, IPA. Oh, it didn't sound like Citra. It's not like a hazy hippo. 
Well, it would be an H. It would be a violation. Be an HIPA, so it would be a HIPAA. A hazy India pillow. HIPAA. I kind of like that. I think we should have. We're gonna start the new trend. A new HIPAA. Seven point three alcohol by volume. Brewed and packaged by True Respite Brewing Company, Calhoun Police Suite, Durwood, Maryland. Chris Lyle. Oh, good. Good. He's having a bad day. We're doing something Guys, right. Chris having a bad day today. We're going to feel good. We're doing something right. Oh, thanks, man. Hey, look, you got the glasses, too. I'm going to give you the honor since I always cheat you out. You stop shirking the cans, creep me out. I tried to grab. I was grabbing. Jesus. I was grabbing the shit out of it. Yeah, you grabbing it, all right. Yeah, Old Spider Man's got no friction. Got no grab. Something like that. Spider Man's got no grab. <laughs> Say some. Say some for Chris. Say something for Jane. Jane Kelly. Doesn't need up all. Jk. Just kidding. Jk. You can say just kidding and then you actually have it. That's you know, their initials. Thank you. I got the burp real quick. Uh, all right, right. You should make words at the next time. I didn't have enough. I didn't have oomph. And I don't want to let you down. You're a pro and I'm like amateur. Like, I'm just going to tell you. I, I care about what you think. Do you get in too small? Yeah. That's actually a very intense smell. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get a lot of dank. Like cent dangy. Centennial Idaho 7 with a hint of like a Zaka citrusy, but Centennial. But I feel like I'm missing Idaho. something though. Did you taste it? I, no, I was missing snow. Yeah, yeah the, 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 some on the nose. Hmm. Work. I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting plenty. I, I want to keep smelling because it's unique. And I like unique. Yeah. So it smells like the you're standing around the corner from like a 311 concert. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, argue with your best reference. Not saying, just saying. All right, well, let's just let's get it. Let's try it because I'm, yes. I'm not trying yeah. this bad. Yeah. Fish. Fish. Okay, so yeah, it's actually got that resinous kind of resinous kind of tongue feel to it too. I dig that back in now. I'm fine with it. Oh God. Swirl. Breathe. Breathe. Can I get a fan in here? Swirl it. Producer, where, where you at? Sniff it. Think so. The smell gets better as you go. It does, it really does. It's very big, a little good, like. You know, fruit vine. Like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of pulpy. Yeah. But in like a, like a, and it, it's it's a weird flavor profile to say, but like in a diesel fuel y skunk weed kind of way. Like I want to party and get rocked. But it's a good diesel fuel skunk right. weed, right? Jay, you're, you're, you're nodding, you get it. You're like saying, this, yeah. this is like, I want to party. Mm -hmm. Like let's slam it and let's get, let's get gnarly. Cheers guys, true respite, killed it. Uh, love you guys. All right, so beer two on our Halloween spooktacular trifecta. Funky Buddha, you wanna get in on this? Pineapple Beach. You know anything about that? Crisp, tropical, and refreshing. Blonde ale with pineapple added. So can you read that again for optimal taste? Sea truth. Look, it says right oh, there. It's Nirvana. For optimal taste. Seek truth. Hey, you wanna do you wanna do the arms or anything? Yeah, oh yeah, I got you. I got you. I'm so confused. Funky Buddha's got me all kind of this about right now. Clearly they're a Buddha company. Namaste. Do I was trying to do chakras, but it's more like do the home shocker. <laughs> Boom. Boom. <laughs> All right. Funky Buddha. That's good. Pineapple Beach. Look at yeah. Put them next to each other. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. I'm just nice. getting back to our normal routine. Nice job. Funky Buddha Brewery. Pineapple. Blonde ale with pineapple. I feel like that if I was a fruit, that would be right. Right there. See that guy right there? I feel like. Right here. Yeah. No, no, right here. It looks, looks exactly like it. Right looks exactly like it. I love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday of the year. Could you, you know tell? Why? You can't tell. You could You know tell. why? It's just gonna be fucking awesome. You know? You do. You get to be different people, watch scary movies, windows open. Stamp late, sugar high. 100%. Sit up, cuddle with your girl, eat under the blankets. Eat six Kit Kats, because you can. Candy corn. Maybe, make. If you're weird, eat candy corn and black licorice. If he like talks it. about candy corn, I'm gonna throw in the skull out. <laughs> eat. 
Almond Joys, which, by the way, I was told by my wife that that's old man candy. Almond Joys? Yeah. Yeah, I really like the coconut. Jesus, old man candy. What do you like better, Almond Joys or Mounds? Mounds. So I like Almond Joy. I like the crunch from, from the almonds. Almond I think Joys? Uh, uh, yeah. Also, got nuts. Got nuts. I'm out of the Don't. We know Ragnarok. You got nuts. We saw it in your costume. Listen. Listen. All jokes aside, Almond Joy is not an old man candy. It's phenomenal. No, yeah. You know what else candy? It's like saying Reese's Pieces, uh, Reese's Cups are old man candy because they've been around forever. Correct. Kiss my butt. They're delicious and amazing. It's all Cindy. That she'll kill you. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But you know what other candy I like to get made fun of all the time for? Candy corn. No, no, no. I'm not talking about trash candy. Uh, like Chris likes peeps. That's disgusting. What? Paydays. Well, I like paydays. paydays. I like paydays. You know, if you're, you know how they, have, so you know the Snickers commercials where they say, "Hey, you're cranky, you're hungry." Yes. Snickers. Paydays fix that every time. Paydays make you not hungry twice as long as Snickers. Got to be the most underrated candy of all time. So as a brewer, there's a uh, every you know, time. Payday beer sounds fantastic. Done. Get on it. Done. Every time we, every no, every time we get a, a batch order, you won't. Actually, I like that idea. Every time we get a batch of uh, grains in that we have to break down for um, recipes, uh huh. We get a, a, a if you go on Reddit, if you go on the, the Reddit slash the bar slash the brewery or one of those, everybody loses their minds about getting a nut roll. So a lot of times from CMG or BSG when they package the um, grain bags for you, if you've been a good friend of theirs or if the stars aligned or if the moon is in the second sun or a second house or what, you know, there's some random weirdness, unicorns flying over the trees. Sometimes they pack a nut roll in. We've gotten a nut roll the past four pallets in a row. It's kind of a thing. It's kind of a deal. That's a big deal. Mm -hmm. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. Nut roll. So Reddit, you guys are right. Nut rolls are legit. We get them sometimes too. You know it's legit? Do you try this? You taste He's it? not lazy. Do you taste this guy? How about the Funky Buddha job? Back to Funky Buddha. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought I know we were like uh, sampling right here. Yeah. It's it's I mean, look at that thing. That thing, that thing is like... Yeah, it smells good too. Hey, Jay. All right, let's get on this. That is pineapple-y. Oh, yeah. That is pineapple-y. Wow. Uh, you could have that for breakfast and not feel, not feel bad about it. I feel like I'll put that in some smoothies. Yes. I mean, Instead of water. My, my water yep. replacement, like in the morning. Make it this. In the magic bowl. Just dump that bad boy Done. in with your fruit. Hit blip. Oh, there we are. Done. You don't even need a banana with that one. He's so upset. So round three, the spectacular, spectacular hey, beer tasting. Let's go to Perth Brewery. Yeah, whoa, well, time out. Nancy and Beth, thank you so much. You are the heart and soul of the foundation of this place. That is true. You've been coming here forever because, well, you're awesome. And you bring bonfire. Bonfire. And we love you. And you bonfire. Bleak Leaguer. And we love you. Crisp, fresh and cascade hops balanced with a hint of smoke. Have you had this yet? Have you had this before? No. From Perth, Ontario, Canada. Mm. All the way from the Great White North, guys. 43 times. What, Perth? No, I've had it 43 times. Oh, you've had this, bro? Yeah, every time they go to Canada. So before Kelly came, it was like, Josh. And now Kelly's here and like, Josh and Kelly. And they bring us all this beer and it's so good and we love it. And it's fantastic and we love them. Nancy and Beth, I'm gonna say it 13 times throughout this one. Nothing against all the other beers. Love Nancy Beth. Put your thistle. Deep rich you color. Right, well. Refreshingly oh, well. light body. Subtle toast in Malt and a smooth, delicious finish. It's a familiar balance on the back road. It's a clean country air and smiling friends. Don't you know? It's the sound of music growling, la growing louder with the glow of a fire lighting up the night, don't you know? It's the time to unwind, yeah? This is your bonfire. Jay. Hey, did you unlike that? You sure you want me to open this? You want to have a brother? Gotcha, bro. I'll be glad to open it. I'll pour it too. Oh, weird. We got two cups though, so yeah. just so you know. I'll be very fair with this one. Yep, I will. <laughs> I knew it was coming. 
Oh, thanks, bro. Why did you? Hey. Happy Halloween, man. Thanks, dude. Hey, look. Why in, 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 in why, JJ? Why in a million years do you think that I would not like do this evenly? If I love, look, I mess you a lot. This is a great gear. You don't, I don't even gotta smell it. I don't gotta try it. You know everything about everything. Listen good. to me. Listen to me. I'm excited. The I'm nose happy. is phenomenal. Everything it's supposed to be is what it's supposed to be. Okay. Now I didn't look at the date. I don't know if it's fresh or not. That I don't know. Okay. I know that when this beer comes out fresh. It smells like a fire pit. What it smells fresh? In look. every way, shape, or form, what it's supposed to be. Yeah, I didn't it's look at the date either. It's just a great all-around beer. I didn't look at the date either, but I can tell it's a great version. You want to get into it? Cheers. Absolutely. Pinky's out. Pinky's out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thumbs up. <laughs> Oh, that's, that works. That works good. Okay. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. That is a hundred percent thumbs up. Perth, you guys knocked it out of the park. How happens to make it hard? That is, that is sexy. I'm coming back next week in a flannel with a beanie, two by four, hacksaw Jim Duggan. He's never coming back. <laughs> Probably not. All right, we love you guys. Thank you for watching. No, you're gonna drink that again. Happy Halloween. No, there's a bug in it. All jokes aside. Don't drink too much beer. Don't eat too much candy. We love you. We'll see you next time. Peace. No!